Welcome to At Your Library. I'm your host, Kathleen Clifford. Here we are, it's June again, and June brings so many things to summer reading and more programming at the library. But the most important thing that everyone looks forward to every year is one book, one region. The kickoff is June 19th this year, and here to announce our book and tell you about all the programs involved is Groton Public Library librarian, Jessica Franco. Welcome, Jess. Hi, thank you. So everybody's been waiting, they're very excited, and I am here to share that Hey Kiddo by Jarrett Krasoska is this year's 2019 One Book, One Region selection. Now if you haven't heard of this book before, which would surprise me since it was a National Book Award honor book, it is a graphic novel memoir about Jarrett's life um, growing up with a mother who was incarcerated due to her heroin addiction and being raised by his grandparents and finding a therapeutic use of art, which eventually led to him having a successful career as a graphic novelist and children's book author. So we are super excited because not only is he coming for our finale event, which is September 17th, um, he is also going to do school visits um, in the region. So for two days, the day of the finale and the day after, he'll be visiting area schools, including uh, Fitch. And while he's at Fitch, we will be busing in uh, regional schools to come and hear him talk about his life and his process for creating art. That's fantastic. I know. Um, what do we know about him? Is he a local author? Actually, you know, he's probably one of the most local ones we've had in a while because he's from Massachusetts. I believe okay. he grew up in the Worcester area and then moved to Boston for a while. And I'm not entirely sure where he is living currently. Um, but it is close enough that he's able to fit in all of these extra activities while doing One Book, One Region for us. Does? This book have a theme. Every year they have a theme. And yes. I heard that this theme is very relevant to what's going on in today's society. Absolutely. So we're very excited because it brings to light a number of issues that we can talk about in our libraries and in our community. So not only do we talk about child welfare, but we talk about different types of families, families of choice, alternative families, um, just how different people play a role in your life. And so I don't want to reveal too, too much about the mm -hmm. novel. However, he is raised by his grandparents. Um, he did not know his father until he was an older teenager, and he didn't really know where his mother was for the longest time. And as you read through the book, you find out more about her addiction. Uh, so we go over the concept of families and how they're different for every single person. Um, but then we also get a chance to talk about um, addiction and recovery and how very challenging that disease is and how it doesn't really get the best attention in pop culture and in our society. Uh, and then we also talk about art therapy and how art is used to help people. And so he uses art throughout his childhood, starting, let me see if I can get to the right page, starting as a kid and just doing basic drawings. And this is actually a drawing from when he was a kid that he included in the book to when he was a teenager and his grandparents are fostering his love of art and they're paying for him to go to art schools and programs and they buy him a drafting table to encourage this passion of his all the way up to when he graduates and starts his successful career as a novelist and um, children's book author. And so you follow him through his graduation from birth right up through then. And then there's a wonderful author's note with all sorts of information about where he's gone since then. And so if you listen to his TED Talk, he's actually done a few. He mentions how what he really wants out of this book is for people with lives like his to see that there are opportunities out there. And that just because you're starting from a place that doesn't seem normal, doesn't mean you can't be successful. And so he is the epitome of success. If you look at his life, he's very happy. He was loved as a child. He had this great, has this great career and this great passion for art. And so using art to fuel his life and his imagination. It'll be really exciting when he comes down. Absolutely. So what do we tell our readers who have never picked up a graphic novel? How can we make them not intimidated to try? It's a really, really good question. This is the first graphic novel One Book, One Region has ever done, so I understand the intimidation with it. Um, it's read just like your typical book. Um, you know, if I can get it open again. Um, it's going to have pictures. Some pages are going to be entirely the picture. And my advice is, while it seems easy to breeze through it because there's not much text on the page, he's put a lot of thought and detail into the artwork. And so there's an added element of, in addition to traditional literacy, reading the printed word, understanding sentence structure and syntax, um, there's visual literacy. And so paying attention to the details that he adds into this book, the facial expressions that add an extra layer of emotion, the settings, um, the color. I mean, if you look throughout this entire book, you'll find that it's mostly 
grayscale except for these pops of color in orange. And if you read the author's note, you'll find out why orange is the color that he picked. And so there's this extra level of meaning that you find in the pictures. And so while I know there's a lot of um, you know, confusion as to the purpose of graphic novels mm -hmm. and why we want to pay attention to them, there's a lot more benefits than you might initially realize to reading one. Um, and what's great is because it's a graphic novel, there are panels. Um, you can read it as an ebook as well. It is available both print and as an ebook. And the ebook allows you to zoom in and gets you a little bit closer. So if the text is too small or you want to see a little bit closer detail on some of his artwork, you can do that through the digital copy. Oh, fantastic. Now, we'll have programs that correspond with the book. Yes, the always. We are so excited. So in addition to the kickoff, which, like you said, is June 19th at 6 p.m. at um, BioCT Innovations Commons, um, you can attend um, library programs throughout the area, including book discussions about the book. Uh, Groton Public Library specifically will be having a book discussion in September. Uh, but kicking right off the bat in June, we're going to be having a graphic novelist that is not Jarrett, but someone equally talented, come in and teach kids about comics and how they can make their own and give a little bit of instruction um, to someday grow up to be just like them. Uh, in July, we will be having a um, community conversation with uh, Kevin Booker. And then in August, we have what's probably one of our most exciting programs is going to be coming in to our library and they'll be doing an art therapy display based on the themes from the book. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be able to come and see their artwork. They'll be having a kickoff event with their jazz band as well. And then their um, performance troupe, uh, Second Step Players, it's a comedy group of um, adults struggling with mental illness and other challenges. They'll be coming in and performing as well in September. So we're very excited to see how art therapy is used outside of just the comics and graphic novel world, but into actual paintings and poetry and comedy and how you can use all of these different artistic mediums to help you process things in your life. Um, and then again, we're leading up into uh, Grandparents Day is September 8th. We'll be celebrating it on the 7th, which is um, the Saturday that we are open. And so we'll be having activities for grandparents and their grandchildren to come in and spend time together at the library, um, leading into our book discussion and then eventually his finale event. So the finale will be on the 17th. He'll be coming and signing copies, as he traditionally always does. Mm -hmm. But keep an eye out in your community for where else he might appear. So earlier that day, he'll be making various stops to elementary schools and to Khan College. And then on the 18th, he'll be at Fitch um, for an exclusive uh, session for Fitch, a session for regional school visits. And then we're collaborating to see if there's a chance to include him elsewhere um, in the community as well. That sounds fantastic. So if you want more information about our One Book, One Region, you can go on our website. You can come into the library, or you can give us a call. Again, the One Book, One Region is Hey Kiddo. And the kickoff event is June 19th, 6 o'clock. Thank you, Jessa, for being here to talk about One Book, One Region. And I hope everybody will get involved and join us with all the events. Stay tuned. When we come back, we'll talk about the summer reading programs here at the Groton Public Library. You can't sit here. Don't add her to the chain. It was just a joke. Why are you talking to me? Lame. Loser. Weirdo. I've said and done things before that I'm not proud of. Just as I've been hurt by others. The thing is, this, this is not who I am. And it's definitely not who I want to be. I don't want to be cruel. I don't want to spread gossip. I don't want to be a body shamer. We have the power to be more. We can create a kinder world. It's not that hard. We just need to stop. Take a moment. And consider others before we speak. And before we act. Be more. Be more. Be more. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Whether you need a hand shopping for groceries, using up scraps, or finishing every bite, Meal Prep Mate can help you plan better and save more. Whether you're a newbie getting your first taste, a meal prepper honing your chops, or a meal prep pro hungry for a challenge, you can learn how to eat smarter, plan better, and save more at every step of meal prep. When you finish every bite, you save. Start prepping with Meal Prep Mate at savethefood.com.
Welcome back to At Your Library. Joining us now is Emily Sheehan. She is going to talk to us about what our summer reading at the Groton Public Library is going to look like this summer. Welcome, Emily. Hi, thanks for having me back. We love it when you come. We know <laughs> something exciting is going to happen. That's true. So every year, summer reading has a theme. What is our theme for 2019? Yes, 2019 brings us a universe of stories. Wow, that is so Yes, yeah, so it's all about space this year. We're very excited. We're hoping to stretch a Dress up, stretch as an astronaut. Too. Oh, that would be really exciting. He's gonna be so cute. For those of you don't, who don't <laughs> know, Stretch is our giraffe mascot who is always sitting watching over the library. That would be great to have him as an <laughs> astronaut. Uh, when does summer reading start this year? So summer reading will kick off June 21st. I believe it's a Friday. We're going to have a kickoff party. We're actually going to have a frisbee show party Ooh. that's going to go on. Yes. Todd Broder is going to be here doing frisbee tricks and uh, showing us how to throw a frisbee properly. Every time I throw it, it a goes. A professional frisbee thrower? Professional, yes, yes. An Olympic, actually, which is fascinating. That He's going to be here at the Grant Public Library. Nice. So, we not only will have a kickoff party, but we will also have summer reading sign ups. So, okay. for everybody that signs up for summer reading, you get a nice, cool frisbee that has stretch on it as well. Great. So freebies. What time does that start? It starts at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Yep. on Friday the 21st? Yep, you've got it. Excellent. And if you can't make it, you can still sign up? Of course, yeah. If you can't come to the library dur during the summer, you can sign up and also log your reading right through our website. Excellent. And it's easy to use? Very, very easy. Easier than last year. Oh, wow. Easier than last year. But let's say you don't have a computer or you're a little shy about jumping in there. Yeah. They can come in for help? Of course. We'll actually have a table where teen volunteers will be all set up and they will be ready to log all of your reading. Oh, great. Absolutely. Now, is there a special ages for this? There aren't, actually. It, it's pretty much all ages from really, really little babies. You can read to them so they can earn prizes. So we have some really cute things. Um, we have a program just for children, so age-specific prizes for them, and also teenagers and adults. We have summer reading for everybody, so it doesn't matter your age, we just want you to come in the library and read. So you read and you earn prizes? Correct, correct. And how much do you have to read? How much? That's a really good question. So it really depends on age? It depends on the age, absolutely. At least for the children, um, if you read 100 pages, you get level one prize. A thousand okay. pages, level two. Um, for level three, it's two thousand and one. A reading odyssey. Wow! You'll get oh, level that's three. So clever. <laughs> very clever. Uh, we're very nerdy. We're very nerdy. Um, so the same thing goes for the teens, and then for adults, it's just how many books you read, and you'll be entered in to win a chance at um, winning a bag of books. Nice. And um, what kind of prizes do we have this year? I know every year we have some really great prizes you can take as you read and then big raffle prizes? We do. So we have leveled prizes and that ranges anywhere from stickers, ring pops, some spaceships that you can like shoot into the air. We also have um, phone chargers for the older kids. Oh, um, and then our raffle prizes, they run the gambit. We have passes to, a uh, pass for four to go to the Seasons Buffet at Mohegan Sun. Nice. We have passes to the Mystic Seaport. We have fifty dollars in cash. Cash. I know. Cash for reading. I, I like know. it. I know. I could get used to that. <laughs> so lots and lots of good stuff this year. Great. And um, while the summer reading is going on, um, it takes place through August, I believe. It does. It runs from June twenty-first to August tenth. August tenth will be our finale, and that's when we will pull the names for all of our raffle winners. Okay. We'll have a big finale party. Rumor is the theme is Star Wars. Ooh, Star Wars. Yeah, so we will have more details later um, right. as we kind of finalize details. What about through the summer? Will we be doing anything special this year? Will we have programming? We will. We'll keep you very, very busy this summer. <laughs> we have something every single day of the week. We have story times for babies on Mondays. We also have movies. So if you want to cool off in the summer, um, we'll have popcorn and movies going on on Monday afternoons. Tuesdays, we'll have crafts um, for children. We also have um, other stuff going on for the teens as well. We have the 4-H coming in to do some STEM activities with teen and school-aged kids. 
Um, we have something Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays are fun Fridays. Right, right. Yep. Always look so forward to those. We'll, ha we'll do rockets and robots and sidewalk chalk. And I mean, we have a ton of other things for the teens as well. We're doing our annual Teen Iron Chef, oh, which is a I hope big I get to judge again this year. <laughs> I need to judge. Thank you. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> we also, and this is a big one, Every year, the staff of the Groton Public Library challenges the teens to an annual kickball game. Yes. And just so you know, we are winners. We, we have like a little trophy. But that will take place on Friday, June 28th at 3. So if you're a teen, please come and join the teen team. If you're an adult, come and cheer us on. Absolutely. Yeah, bring us some, some I, popsicles. Um, I ordered some special footwear this year, so my kick should be really far. <sighs> So you definitely want to stop by and cheer for the staff. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. So we have something every day of the week. We'll keep you really busy. And the adults also? Yes, yeah, same thing for the adults. They have plenty of programs going on this summer as well. Excellent. Yeah. And I know um, that there is a movie about space coming this summer too that uh, it's um, very hard. People can't find it, so it's a must-see movie. Yes. So check our newsletter for that. Yes. Everything will be listed in the newsletter. There's just so much stuff that we have going on. So we always tell everybody, you know, go to our website, come into the library, talk to the staff, give us a call. If you're unsure of when something's happening, we have flyers and handouts you can pick up. And, um, you know, we want you to come to as many things. Everything we do here at the library is free and open to the public. Sometimes you have to register, sometimes yep. you don't, but you want to make sure if it's an event that you really don't want to miss, you just want to call and double check on that. Definitely. Um, and you said the official ending is in August? August, yes. It's Saturday, August 10th. Okay, Saturday, August 10th is when you'll have your reading done and the prizes will be claimed and the big raffles will be given out. So thank you so much for coming. You're so Emily. welcome. It's always a pleasure. Okay, well, we'll have you come back soon. So good. Thank you for watching. This has been At Your Library. I'm your host, Kathleen Clifford. Thanks for checking in.